expel the Jews, naturally. Shameful state of affairs where Jewish policemen are expelling Jews. What we need is to send Rudy Giuliani over to Jerusalem. No. He goes on, as long as the Arabs preserve a gleam of hope, 
that they will succeed in getting rid of us, nothing in the world, neither soft words nor alluring promises, can cause them to relinquish this hope. In Likud, USA, what are we doing about this problem? I have been very privileged to serve as your president for the last 12 months. It has also caused me a great deal of indigestion and hair loss, but I think that goes with the territory of running a Jewish organization. Uh, let me tell you what we've accomplished in the last 12 months very briefly. We have stabilized the finances of this organization. We are operating in the black, and our membership is at a 10-year high. We produce, we are the only Zionist organization anywhere in the world who produces every few weeks a television program that airs nationwide. And beyond it airing from coast to coast, we produce hundreds of videotaped copies that go all over the country and all over the world. And as George will tell you when he was at the recent World Zionist Organization meeting in Jerusalem, that the Kuhn chapters, whether in Australia or South Africa or Belgium, depend on us the Likud USA for informational videos to show to their members and to bring the Likud members of Knesset into their living rooms. And no one else is doing that. Labor's not doing it. Merits isn't doing it. No one's doing it. We also produce a wonderful newspaper called Zionism Today, just chock a block with articles by the top leaders in Likud and a terrific article by Jabotinsky from 70 years ago on page two. I urge you to get a copy of this on your way out if you didn't take one on your way in. We also are on the internet, the information superhighway. We have a place on the World Wide Web, and every techno geek in the world, whether they're in Australia, or they're in the Soviet Union, the former Soviet Union, or whether they're in Canada or in Costa Rica, can plug into our site on the internet. And no one else does this, not even the Likud Party in Israel. And our site on the internet is dense with Likud history, with Hayrut history, with revisionist history, and with our positions on the current state of affairs written by our people in the Knesset right now. And there is no one else in this country in the Zionist movement that is on the internet to the depth and extent that we are. And I urge you, if you are plugged in to the electronic superhighway, the information superhighway, you plug into Likud, and our address on the internet is in this newspaper, plug in and you'll find out that we are right there on the cutting edge of information. So is that, so we have, so is that right. we have a TV commercial in production right now about the Golan Heights that God willing will air at the end of September or early October, which will push real hard against US troops on the Golan Heights, against aid to Syria, and against any American involvement in the region. This commercial will air, God willing, on CNN and other cable networks, and we will be the first Zionist organization to do that. <coughs> we have also had an extensive, an extensive program of speakers. Many of you attended our lectures this year. Edward Omer, Dan Meridor, Ron Hoffman, and the list goes on and on and on of top of the leaders who have addressed our groups around the country. In closing, let me just say, People ask me all the time, you know, I'm a young man, and a lot of people my age spend their time at night going to bars, going to parties, playing basketball, chasing women. And I hear lectures all the time from my parents as to why I haven't chased successfully enough because I'm still single. But people ask me, why do I do it? And why do I put in all this time? And why do I put in all this effort? And my answer is plain and simple. Because as many of you know, during the time of the Holocaust, most American Jews sat and did nothing and said nothing and were nowhere. And I don't want my grandchildren to come to me in 30 or 40 years and say, when the Labor Party was destroying the state of Israel, where were you? Were you at basketball games and chasing girls? What were you doing? I want to be able to look at Stephen White, Stephen White, Stephen White, I have to tell you, I, White, I, I, I have a question. 